table draws a line on the kitchen floor Saying stay here for the biscuits Or you beg for more And it's a high, high, high Sweet horse radish Panama hat Said red potato pie Playing with an orchestra from outer space The dogs in the alley, they're playing concertina And a devil back banjo in a coffin case And it's a high, 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 sweet horse radish Panama hat set red potato pie Box plate fat blowing 90 miles an hour Cross a mile and pretend to die someone in this song right right off the bat so <laughs> bear with us
I hear a pop every once in a while. I haven't figured out what Well, I think that's it. Well, if it sounds loud, I guess it probably is. This is Bob's knees. <laughs> Could it be any of us, really? <laughs> <laughs> there probably is a band. Uh, let's do this. Speaking of bands, let's do all your favorite bands.
Are we ready? Yeah. Seven.
That's the next song we're doing.
you don't wanna hear Brave the lightning bolts A million zillion volts Wait till the coast is clear Are you gonna follow your heart Or fight with your head No more than a dime's worth of wheat And a loaf of bread Living in our minds Only by design but it never goes out of style Lightning has been knowing these things For a great long while Curiosity's liability The cat keeps a coming up dead No more than a dime's worth of wheat In a loaf of bread No more than a dime Farmer's view Hardly worth his time To feed me and you Are you gonna Follow your heart Or fight With your head No more than a dime's worth of wheat In a loaf of bread Watch the sun rise all day A thousand miles an hour You can even see every galaxy In the seeds of a flower But you will never find the time you lost Or hear what you never said No more than a dime's worth of wheat In a loaf of bread No more than a dime farmer's view hardly worth the time to feed me and you are you gonna follow your heart or fight with your head no more than a dime's worth of wheat in a loaf of bread no more than a dime's worth of wheat in a loaf of bread Hey, with a hard time, true with us every Wednesday for the rest of your natural born days. This guy right here, that's off Broadway Bill Aspinwall. This guy right here, kind of yeah, reddies, uh, oranges, whatever. That, yeah. Over there, tuning up, that's Mr. Mango Mike Darnell. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Godet, right here in the middle on the base. Come on, hanging out with us. We, we're not sure why, but uh, he's hanging out with us. It's like three weeks, so don't scare him away, okay? Don't scare him off. We kind of like it. Back here is Jeff Hooford on the drum. On the drum. And, and up here sitting on his work is Captain Bob Yo. <laughs> Deaver House is our guest tonight. Is it first time on Wednesday, friend? I think so. Thank Style. 
city made of gold On in Nashville and Memphis town We by by Elvis, we were Texas bound Wednesdays are busy for us. Takes a lot of coffee. Right? Dime's worth of coffee. <laughs> Yesterday's coffee. Yesterday's coffee. Sorry. It's only all right. Let's do it. Ain't no more thinking. We haven't done this in a while. Do it. Oh, let me change our mic. <laughs> Keith's going to be here some, maybe that Sunday, but he says the Wednesday before. All right, we'll see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
lead better too in a batter. Our own little dirty secret down there in Sugar Land. <laughs> What are we gonna do, man? Oh, we're gonna do Frank Fuller. All right, here's a favorite song of ours from our good friend uh, Gary. Gary of the Burgess family. We're just gonna Gary. Gary. <laughs> Good old Gary. Gary Burgess. <laughs>
Frankenstein, I was ready for you to cigars, Luca. espresso. Take you out to uh, from Frankenstein to West Texas. What?
time to kill senoritas bonitas. Is this real?
All right, hey, you want to thank you. I'm going to give us a few minutes here. We get things switched out. Thank you so we much. Get yourself something to drink. And we'll get our Thanks, guys. brand new guest artist, D.B. Rouse, up here. And get we have a great old time. Get yourself a beer. I think Pam has a couple beers left, so don't all rush back there at once. Cause yeah, we're gonna Cause leave, leave some for us, okay? Go ahead and mute it. Yeah, mute it, Pam. Thank you. All right.
get away from Bob. Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. I can't buy no beer. We're ready, Freddy? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to JP Hop's house. This is Wednesday. It is the Hard Time Soup and Music Kitchen. I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank the Troubadours for their opening set. You guys sound wonderful, and especially with the bass. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to our last uh, bass player. He left. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we had a fabulous buffet tonight, uh, so no one should go home hungry, that's for sure. Uh, well, let's thank Bill Aspinwall for chicken tortellini soup and the mint cookies. Mike Darnell brought chocolate cake. Carol Dwyer brought chicken tortilla soup with all the trimmings. Fred and Linda Thompson brought tacos. Grace and Knapp brought tacos. Yay! Jeff Bowles brought a two cheese turmeric dip and he just left. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for feeding us tonight. It was very, very good. Uh, tomorrow night we have our open spin vinyl night. Friday night. We have a big weekend. George, we have a, it's really a big week. Friday night, George Ensley will be here from Austin. <laughs> uh, Saturday night, Freebo will be here with Alice Howe. Freebo is coming to us from uh, California. I don't know where Alice Howe is. But anyway, they're on tour together. And Sunday night, we have our open mic. Uh, coming up on April 20th, we have a fundraiser for the Kerrville Music Camp for Teens. And we are going to have, on May 4th, we are going to have a, um, a Cinco de Mayo party. Where'd he go? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Bielsa and Bubba's are going to play that night. And I was going to say there's a couple of them in the room, but both of them left. Left to go outside. And May 11th, the songwriter competition from Houston Live will be here. Okay, you're up. <laughs> um, our special guest tonight actually has been here one other time. He was here on the soup kitchen with Brendan and the Strangest Ways. I had to look that up. Um, and it was in February 2017. That's why I have to look it up. I don't remember that far back. <laughs> but when we saw the kazoos, we all said, Oh, yeah, the kazoo guy. <laughs> you have a reputation. <laughs> okay, this guy's been on tour. He's just uh, spent three months in Terlingua, and he's traveling around the, basically in the south right now. Uh, he lives part-time in Milwaukee, and I went to school there, by the way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, please help me welcome, welcome back to our stage, our friend, D.B. Rouse. Thank you. It's good to be back. Um, yeah, I played on Wednesday here about two years ago, and I, I remember the band was great, and the, the, the buffet was good, and all the people were kind, and I'm, uh, I'm glad to be back and to see that things haven't changed. Yeah, I like it. Well, uh... Yeah, we're on a tour out to Florida now, and then we're going to work our way up the Appalachians and go back to Milwaukee for a little bit. But uh, I'm going to play a bunch of originals tonight. Uh, this first song is a, it's a celebration of absolutely nothing. It's called If Nothing Was Money. If nothing was money, you 
know that I'd be rich. I got nothing in my belly. I got nothing in my pockets. I got so much nothing. I set aside a bit to save. I heard that you got something. Would you like to make a trade with this much nothing? There's nothing you can't do. You got nothing to fear when you got nothing to lose. And so nothing's gonna stop me. And nothing's in my way. If nothing was money, I give it all away. The cup ain't half empty. The cup ain't half full. There ain't even a cup for any water to go. So when I'm thirsty, I drink straight from the sink. I got so much nothing. Yeah, I don't need anything. Nothing was money, you know that I'd be rich. I got nothing in my belly, I got nothing in my pockets, I got so much nothing. I set aside a bit to save. I heard that you got something. Would you like to make a trade? As you, uh, as you may have heard, I am a professional kazoo player. Thank you. <laughs> and not only that, I'm sponsored by the only plastic kazoo company in America, Kazooby Kazoos. Yeah. And all of my dreams are coming true. Uh, <laughs> That's an endorsement. <laughs> I'm not just saying this because I'm contractually obligated to say this at every single show I do. Kazooby Kazoos are the best kazoos on the market. Uh, all the other kazoos are just toys. Uh, it's the only thing I trust to put into my mouth. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you yourself are considering starting a professional kazoo career of your own, there is no better place to start than with a kazooby kazoo. Yes. What? Was that a pretty... What was that? Where can you get a, a kazooby kazoo? <laughs> well, thank you so much for asking. I happen to be selling genuine kazoo because it was here tonight for two dollars. You can join the band. Wow. Right good. up here next to the free CDs and uh, yeah, so feel free. It's surgical grade plastic. Uh, yeah. I've got one. I own one. They're very good. <laughs> I went to school in northern Wisconsin where I eventually graduated with yeah. a degree in yeah. philosophy. It has a much more positive uh, response than I usually get. Uh, <laughs> I did what all the philosophy majors did when they graduated from that particular school. Uh, I went ahead and I immediately got myself a job in construction. <laughs> so this next song is a song that I wrote about my brief career in the construction industry. It's called Three Week Promotion. <laughs> Never hold a job because I work less than I daydream. When I start them all right, but I never last more than a week. And if they give me a second chance, I know I blow it all again. Not getting fired would be a promotion to me. My luck was gonna change with this construction agency I filled out an application and they began interrogating I said I don't have any skills you see But if you give me a broom I'll sweep And not getting fired would be a promotion to me So they gave me a broom I started off three weeks back I sweep up all the rooms And I even get to wear a hard hat 
And it looked good on me, I'm not gonna lie. I found me a job I can keep. And all I gotta do is sweep. And I've been promoted every day for the last three weeks. For sweeping day and night is starting to get boring. Spending my time in the rooms just hiding. Till the boss walked in on me and my broom when we were both asleep. He said, I'm sorry you were hired, cause now keep your fire, just leave. And if they give me a second chance, I know I'd blow it all again. Not getting fired would be a promotion to me. Promotion to me. Yeah. Back before, uh, back before I became the the world famous, uh, rich and successful uh, singer songwriter musician type guy you see before you today. Back before all this, I was a bank robber. And I was not a very good bank robber, and that's why I'm a musician now. <laughs> but uh, I wrote this next song when I was sort of transitioning from robbing banks into music. So this song just ended up being about robbing banks. This song is called Mischief on My Mind. a problem and I don't know what to do I ain't got no money and the bills are overdue I got mischief on my mind so I went to the bank with a gun in my hand and told them all to listen to my plan I got mischief on my mind I said I got a new song with an old-fashioned dance You take one step forward and two steps back Empty out your pockets, hold up your hands Swing your bond around, get dizzy, do it again and again started to sing, it was the end of the line, my flight has lost its wings. I got mischief on my mind. He sung, I got a new song with an old-fashioned dance. You take one step forward and two steps back. Empty out your pockets, hold up your hands, swing your butt around, get dizzy, do it again and again. Song with an old-fashioned dance You take one step forward and two steps back Empty out your pockets, hold up your hands Swing your butt around, get dizzy, do it again and again This song, I got a new song with an old-fashioned dance You take one step forward, two steps back Empty out your pockets, hold up your hands, swing your bond around, get dizzy, do it again and again. Hey, hey. Crime does not pay. Being a musician pays. <laughs> what, what world are you coming from? <laughs> A world where I'm sponsored by concerns. <laughs> so marketing. <laughs> so me and my wife, uh, 
we live out of a glorified minivan. We travel all around the country making music. And um, I don't know how she puts up with it. And uh, so I wrote the song to try and make up for it somehow, as if a song could just do that. <laughs> the song's called I Can Ramble Anywhere With You. Just a tourist in this life I ain't here forever, I'm just passing by I'm a rambler, you're a rambler too I want to spend my time here rambling round with you Got happy feet, they go where they please. They are pleased when you're walking with me. So, what are two wandering souls to do? Let's pack it up and go see someplace new. I did not work there long, as is my tradition with jobs. <laughs> but I did have the privilege of working at this pawn shop on Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day at a pawn shop is a very special time and place to be. <laughs> After that day ended, I thought, geez, someone should write a song about that. That was weird. So I did. I wrote that song. And I named it Valentine's Day at the pawn shop. And this is that song. It's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop and Ted rushed through the door and ran straight to the jewelry case to buy the cheapest ring he could afford. As I took it out of the display, he said his wife deserves much more, but it's the best he can do to buy back the ring that he pawned one week before. It's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop, love is in the air, and worn out people buy worn out gifts for the worn out love affairs. It's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop, it's in the air, and worn out people buy worn out gifts for the worn out love affairs. Worn out people buy worn out gifts for the worn out love affair. 
cares It's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop It's in the air Now worn out people buy worn out gifts for their worn out love affairs It's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop And Frank just stumbled in And walked head down to the gun case Smelled like Grandpa's gin I sent him home with a video game I picked out of the discount bin I told him, sober up, maybe try again Today no gun sells to him It's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop Love is in the air And worn out people buy worn out gifts For their worn out love affairs it's Valentine's Day at the pawn shop. It's in the air. And worn out people buy worn out gifts for their worn out love fakers. Thank you. Valentine's Day at the pawn shop. I mentioned earlier how me and my wife live out of this minivan, and uh, we got most of our worldly possessions in it as we travel around, and uh, we were doing a few shows in Oakland, California uh, a few years back, and, and, uh, and the van got broken into, and this is a song about that experience in Oakland. The song is called Broken Window Shopping. Parked on a street in Oakland when the van door got broke open The alarm was ringing up and down the street My heart was in my throat, that van held everything we owned But the thieves didn't even take a thing Great relief, we sighed. The guitars were still inside. They left our dirty socks and army cots. Yes, they slim jim the van. They could have taken all we had, but the thieves didn't even take a thing. Started me to wonder why they wouldn't take our plunder Was nothing that we owned good enough I got downright upset that our things were still intact Those thieves were too good to take our stuff People get robbed all the time What's wrong with our stuff? If you're gonna go through the trouble of breaking into a vehicle You should at least take something that's common courtesy The thing that was most strange was the handfuls of change Placed on top of the dashboard and the seats They must have seen we had it worse They must have emptied out their purse Those thieves only stole our dignity We were parked on a street in Oakland when the van door got broke open. The alarm was ringing up and down the street. My heart was in my throat, that van held everything we owned. But the thieves didn't even take a thing. The thieves didn't even take a thing. Hey! First time I played that out was a, at a show in uh, Virginia. And there was a woman at the show, she, she watched, heard us play that song, and then uh, we were loading the van up after, after the show, putting all our instruments and stuff in, she was walking past, she looked at us, she looked at the van, she's like, well, I sure hope no one breaks in there again, but if they do, I hope they take everything. <laughs> Which is just about the nicest thing anyone's ever said to us. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I work about uh, three months out of the year on the Grand Canyon Railway as a uh, professional hobo lounge singer. <laughs> this next song is a 
This next song is about how we all get into a jam at some points in our lives, but uh, in particular, it's about a train hopping hobo who cannot swim. It's called Hobo in a Rowboat. He's a hobo in a rowboat. The river is his mighty railroad. He can't swim. The paddles broke. He's a hobo. He's up a creek, but he's on the Mississippi. He's passing Memphis and New Orleans, and he's drifting. Out to sea, John the Lightfish, pie me on my own. Cause tonight I'm gonna see my Michelle's meal. Big guitar, Bill Brook, Jar, and Miguel. Thought I was gonna go have a big I wonder by you. He's a hobo in a rowboat. The river is his mighty railroad. He can't swim. Catch a ride home. He's a hobo. He's a hobo. By the way, there are some free CDs up here placed mysteriously in the tip case. Don't be shy, there's some free stickers, there's a free email list, and uh, there's some other fun stuff too. Joe, do y'all get a chance to hear about the Mars rover this, in February? Yeah, there's this Mars rover they sent up, its name was Opportunity, and uh, they sent it up many years ago to, to Mars to explore Mars and report back with whatever it finds up there. And uh, it had about the, the like da da data capabilities of like a flip phone, one of those old older cell phones. And uh, it was only supposed to last three months, but they sent it up, and it lasted almost 15 years. Yeah. And uh, and its the last transmission it sent uh, to NASA was. My battery is low and it's getting dark. And I thought, there's, there's got to be a song in that. So, this next song I wrote for Opportunity, the Mars rover. It's, it's very new. Uh, I'm hoping not to mess it up. Uh, this song is called Opportunity is Dead. I come from a long line of pathfinders. I'm just a roving machine, a red dirt traveler. I'm learning new things everywhere I tread. 
and I'll send you an update on radio wave letterhead. Now my wheels won't roll, my motor won't start, my battery is low, and it's getting dark. I've been traveling along, doing the best I can. Trying to find my way In an unknown land Well, the climate is rough The dust blows and blows They gave me three months to live Fourteen years ago but now my wheels won't roll My motor won't start My battery is low And it's getting dark I'm just a tourist here Sending pictures home they send letters back I don't feel alone It's such a silly thing To exist at all To find yourself alive On a spinning ball but now my wheels won't roll My motor won't start My battery is low And it's getting dark No, my wheels won't roll My motor won't start my battery is low And it's getting dark yeah. Hey! That's a brand new one Called Opportunity is Dead oh, That's a song for our jobs I can't help but wonder, maybe if they would have sent up like a small engine mechanic to Mars, could have helped. Uh, maybe he could have held his breath a little. Right. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of uh, previews in the last couple years for superhero movies and superhero TV shows. And that's cool. It's not really my thing. Um, but, so I decided to, uh, to sit down and write a song about some of the real superheroes who have existed in my life. And uh, that's what this song is about. The song is called Small Engine Mechanic. Oh. Don't panic. Here comes a small engine mechanic. It's gonna make your life better. It's gonna fix your bike motor. And to the moon you'll ride. And everything will be alright. Here comes a small engine mechanic And there's no reason to lose hope He's gonna fix your motor boat And y'all be fishing by tonight And everything will be alright
small engine mechanic is gonna make it all better tonight. Hey! Coming around with minivans. This next song is a brand new song. This is about, uh, I don't know. Uh, this song is called Guardian Angel. My guardian angel committed suicide. It was too much work to keep me alive. But it's okay, I think I'll be alright. I can't help but wonder though when angels die, where do they go? I hope my angel goes back home. There was a time up on a cliff, my angel loaned me her wings. But I was drunk, I don't remember it. I woke up down upon the ground. Hung over, but safe and sound. Only my angel could explain it. My guardian angel committed suicide. It was too much work to keep me alive. But it's okay, I think I'll be alright. I can't help but wonder, though, when angels die, where do they go? I hope my angel goes back home. My angel and I had some times I can't believe I'm still alive. If not for her, I know I would have died. But I can't say I blame her none for going off doing what she done. I wouldn't wish this job on anyone. My guardian angel committed suicide. It was too much work to keep me alive. But it's okay, I think I'll be alright. I can't help but wonder though, when angels die, where do they go? I hope my angel goes back home In a dream, Jesus told me once That there's no way to kill a drunk My angel died, but I think that I'll survive Alright, I'm gonna do two more. Then I'm gonna be done. Get the, we're gonna get the real band back up. <laughs> this next song is an anthem to not being a jerk, which is really important in this day and age. We're not talking politics. This song is called Best Self. I want to be a doctor and help heal the sick But the only thing I can prescribe is more music At farmers markets for the hungry At bars for the drunk I want to write music that will give their ears a hug I want to help the world but I don't have any training All that I can do 
is play guitar and sing. I want new politicians that aren't these politicians. So I'll just keep on singing that. Both it makes a difference. I want us to treat the earth like we treat ourselves. I want us to treat ourselves a lot better. I want to help the world, but I don't have any training. All that I can do is play kazoo and sing. I want teachers to be paid more than pro athletes because teachers more important than sports on TV. And I'm not a social worker, but I like being social, so I play guitar in classrooms and at old folks' homes. I want to help the world, but I don't have any training. All that I can do is play guitar and sing. So I'll be on the street singing till my voice is gone, hoping that I'm helping when I play the right song. Maybe you don't need to train to help the human race. Just be your best self. That's the best way to help. Be your best self. That's the best way to help. Is it okay if I do two more now? Thank you for listening. Uh, if you like what you hear, there's free CDs, there's a sign up list. I was walking down uh, the middle of the street very late at night in Austin, Texas. I was walking down the middle of the street. Uh, it was dark out. I was walking down the middle of the street backwards, very late at night. Which, first off, just don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh, while I was walking backwards down the middle of the street, I bumped into a man who was walking forwards. Imagine that. And I, I turned around, I'll never forget it. There was this little old man there with a long trench coat. And in one hand, he just had a sharp Swiss Army knife. His other hand was just kind of open. And he looked me right in the eyes. And he said, I don't think a dollar is too much to ask to not get stabbed. <laughs> and who was I to argue with logic like that? I gave that man a dollar. And I lived to see the next day. And the next, the next morning I was talking to my friends. It's like the craziest thing, the craziest thing happened last night. An old man held me up with a Swiss Army knife for a dollar. And they were like, were you on like Six and Red River-ish? It's like, yeah. I'm like, that's just Stabby. Stabby the hobo. That's what he does. <laughs> so for a while, there's no way you still got this job. <laughs> for a while, there was a there was a guy in downtown Austin, Texas. His only gig was to get up really late at night, go around not stabbing people for money. That's what he did for a living. And I was playing a lot of shows in the, those neighborhoods at that time, and so I ended up paying a lot for his services. <laughs> And I start after a while. What what is this guy? I wanted to sort of get to know his story, find out what sort of made him tick, why he was doing this. And I, over time, uh, when I started talking to him, he sort of became uh, became like a father figure for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote the song for him. It's called Stabby the Hobo. Uh, no one knew his real name. Everyone just called him Stabby. Sure, in jail, he's probably called Shivy the Hobo. Uh, he always promised he'd come to one of my shows. But he never does. Just like a real father figure. So here we go, this song's called Stabby the Hobo. Stabby the hobo goes where he goes to take train rides and sharpen his knives. Stabby the hobo knows what he knows, where to find a potty, where to bury a body. Stabby the hobo only drinks Bordeaux, he likes to get blood oh, and roll into bottles. Stabby the hobo is the king of his fold, he won a fortune on the lotto. And they blew all of his winnings. On the lotto. Stabby the hobo reaps what he sows. He catches hell from all the yard bowls. Stabby the hobo shows what he shows. 
under his jacket, he's wearing no clothes. Stabby the hobo only drinks Bordeaux, he likes to get blood oh, and crawl into bottles. Stabby the hobo is the king of his fold, he won a fortune on the lotto. They blew all of his winnings on the lotto. Two times, so he says. Twice. Dose. Spy. It's the multicultural part. Duh. Stabby was the luckiest and the stupidest person I have ever met. And it was a privilege to know him. Stabby the hobo goes where he goes. He knows what he knows. He reaps what he sows. Stabby the hobo goes where he goes. He knows what he knows. He reaps what he sows. Stabby the hobo, he goes where he goes. He knows what he knows. He reaps what he sows. Stabby the hobo, Stabby the hobo, don't stab my hobo. Oh, Stabby. There he is. Right. Stabby the hobo. Funny thing about that song, if you look up Stabby the Hobo on Spotify, my song is the only one that comes up. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, you should try it. <laughs> and also on a side note, if you yourself would like to know more about Stabby the Hobo, he took me to his lair one night underneath the bridge, and he told me his life story. <laughs> We worked out a book here together. This is called Stabbing My Way to the Top, the Autobiography of Stabby the Hobo. It's me. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty quick, pretty fun read. Uh, it's it's kind of like a travel guide. These are places you should not go in Austin. So, so if you are interested, let me know. I'm selling these for $10 tonight. Anti travel guide. <laughs> More useful than other trains. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell you where to get down trouble. <laughs> Keep your life. I got one for, one more for you here. Um, All right. Uh, we got to be at least a month into 2019 by now. Yes. Yeah. Good. We're a quarter into 2019. All right. Whoa. Well, I've been trying. I made the resolution this year. I was going to get my shit together for uh, 2019, it's the year my shit's gonna be gotten together. And it turns out that's, uh, getting my shit together is a bigger job than I thought it would be. <laughs> and uh, I wrote this song to sort of try and keep my spirits up when I was trying to get my shit together. <laughs> uh, it sort of psyched me up to wake up in the morning and do what I gotta do. Uh, I call this song, I'm gonna get my shit together. I'm gonna get my shit together I'm gonna get out of bed and put on clean pants I'm gonna get my shit together I'm gonna water my plants and organize my head You can't hold me down Cause I can go much lower than you And you don't know the strength i found Just to stand up and continue I'm gonna get my shit together I'm gonna comb my hair and try to care I'm gonna get my shit together I'm gonna go outside and try to try I was paralyzed At every phobia I could find The fear of losing my mind Made me lose my mind now that I found it, it's here for keeps. The world's made of sharp edges, but it can't cut me, no. I'm gonna clean up this mess. A dumpster fire of regrets The past is good to revisit But it's no place to be living Thank you all very much for having me again It's been a lot of fun to play for y'all
I'll see y'all again real soon. Uh, if you find yourself in Lafayette um, a couple days from now, maybe I'll see you at my next show. <laughs> I'm gonna get my shit together I'm gonna think positive and be optimistic Gonna get my shit together I'm gonna get rearranged and smile at babies Gonna get my shit together I'm gonna answer the phone and stop hiding at home The bed's really warm though So I'll start tomorrow I'll give you a couple of options of what we could. I do uh, really dirty songs too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've been steering. I, didn't, I think this is a classier place. <laughs> the dirty songs. Oh, yeah. I thought you were a good kind of character. <laughs> Should I do a dirty song? Would that be, or would that be? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Some of us are lame. Most of us are adults. Hey. If you take one message away from my set here tonight, let it be this. Oh boy. <laughs> Remember me this way. <laughs> Dreams can come true. They happen to me, and it can happen to you. Uh, you just gotta hang in there, like that cat from the 70s poster with the rope, the hang in there kitty. You know the one, right? And never mind that that cat ended up hanging itself. <laughs> you gotta do as it says, not as it does. And so with that in mind, this song is called Proof, Dreams Can Come True. I am proof dreams can come true. I grew up and did what I wanted to do. I got a job doing what I love. I'm a lounge singer at the strip club. I play folk music fast so the strippers can dance. They tell me to play it quicker and I say SHUT UP STRIPPERS! <laughs> Everyone sings along when I play Kumbaya Everyone says okie dokie to my special hokey pokey I am proof dreams can come true I grew up and did what I wanted to do I got a job doing what I love I'm a loud singer at the strip club It's the best job I've had I'll accomplish all my goals Someday I'll get promoted And get to be a, a stripper pole Everyone sings along When I play Kumbaya Everyone says okie dokie To my special hokey pokey I am proof dreams can come true I grew up and did what I wanted to do I got a job doing what I love I'm a loud singer at the strip club I am proof dreams can come true I grew up and did what I wanted to do I got a job doing what I love I'm the house band at the strip club At the strip club Red Club, where? Help me out. At the Strip Club. What's more with feeling though? At the Strip Club. You put your third leg in, you put your third leg out. Your third leg in, you shake it all about. You do the hooker pokey and you flip her right around. That's what it's all about. You do the hook. That's what it's all about. 
That's what it's all about. It's about love. Thank you, I love you. Thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, there's free CDs up here. There's two dollar kazoos, you can join the band. There's a free email list. Uh, those books are up there for $10, there's free stickers, and there's bandanas, it's hobo suitcases. <laughs> D.B. Rouse. <laughs> Very entertaining show. Thank you for coming back to us. <laughs> Don't be gone so long next time. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, sit tight. I could serve more beer. Right. And then, uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> or run for the door. The troubadours are coming back up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we just got the boat out the door. Seven beers. Yeah, yeah. 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 Back around the back. Sixteen beers. Oh, get Morning again. Get up. <laughs> Mean? Another day older, yeah. drunker and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here I got him. Oh, I like that guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are here. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Well, but I could be using something else. Your musical phone. Third leg. I'm going to put the next one on your head. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't think I'm getting everybody, but okay. I don't, I don't <laughs> think I'm not in the fish. Just piece all those together. Yeah. No, I think I've got it. People are around. Wonder if that was some physical photos. Yes. Nice. Brian. Just those TVs taller than the one that we stand in the family. And it's scary. I can relate. Oh, thanks for millions. <laughs> There's only two songs in the next set, right? Yeah, we're done. <laughs>
test, check. Check test. I've had one for two years now, and it's well past its warranty, but it still works.
take your time. Stop and smell the roses, taste the fire wine, slow down. Baby, please slow down. If you do slow down, everything's gonna be just fine. Why don't you slow down, mama? Tell me what's the rush. Pull to the canvas, then you stroke the brush. Slow down. Baby, please slow down. If you just slow down. Half speed, half speed is good enough. Oh, 90 miles an hour got your hair on fire. You're climbing up the ladder just to get a little higher. You got the pedal. Like a house made to make a number 
got myself a little fan. And we're pretty good, I guess. Never learned how to wear my hair, but old Richard finally learned to dress. I knew for the last time, honey, I'm no more to roll. Broadway Bill asked one. That's the usual response. <laughs> that was, that's for uh, Jeffro back there. He likes it when I say that. Very good. Thank you so much, Let's go play, sir. Yeah. You're gonna have to turn this on. I think it's on up there. Let's see up there. Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing uh, my job as a beer salesman. If uh, I didn't have a drinking song, so this uh, this song is um, called uh, "Drunk Drunk Guitar." Tired voices like a thin worn flannel Not nearly warm enough To cover this drunk guitar My hands keep getting stained with purple bruises Can't seem to handle these stupid Knuckle busting bars Just play that drum guitar Let the whiskey hide the scars Like wishing on a busting star I was always doing someone, someone else's time. I let my love drift off in stolen glances. Couldn't trust feeling good like it was some kind of crime. Afraid like worn out strength. Busted reverb strings Crashing on shot glass wings I tried 
to shelter But I could, I lost my faith What was good, I found a friend Always I was moving on On the outside looking in In a cold flop sweat Sweating like a flop house train I never left that much behind Hardly any just a drunk guitar One won't beat up and Play that drunk guitar Let the whiskey hide the Like wishing on a busted star Job, I lost my car. I held on tight to this guitar. Let those whiskeys with the scar. This drunk guitar. Something good. I lost my job. I lost my car. I held on tight to this guitar. The whiskey left nothing but scars. I found my fate with a drunk guitar. With a drunk guitar
never heard ever, ever before, so doing all right.
How about this rhythm section? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, one of those guys only has four strings, you better teach them. I brought two up, and I haven't been able to figure what to do with it. But I got my bell bass uh, bass plug, my bell bay bass plug. I'm on page three now. How to the D string. We haven't told them yet they don't get paid, but... They don't trust me with strings. <laughs> Don't make fun of these strings. These strings are almost as old as some of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> these strings have been on this sucker since 1974. I didn't really know. Why change? They sound good. Are those fat ones? Yeah, they're original. <laughs> Shotgun across the railroad tracks or something. <laughs> now we're going to do 
Cost of freedom. Cost of freedom. Okay. Not really oh. than the other one. <coughs> yeah, that's peppy. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 the mic's gonna finish off some peppy. Yeah. 
Two. 